Hey guys, Steve checking in again. Just wanted to go over with you um, some things about benzodiazepine withdrawal. Um, there's a lot of information out there on the, in on the internet. Some of it's true, some of it's not true. You know, um, it's crazy how <clears throat> we can make videos like this. We can do surgery on patients from Japan and someone is located in California and it's all done through computers and robots but we still can't understand the human mind 100% I don't even think we know it in science 50% anyways back to my point benzodiazepines and withdrawal there's a uh, ton of a, a, a ton of symptoms you can go through. Unfortunately, I was one of those people that experienced a lot, had a real hard time going through my benzo taper, my benzo diazepine withdrawal. Now, there's a uh, a lot of information on this. There's a main guide that I wished that I followed, which I found out about halfway through my taper which was an incorrect taper um, led by my psychiatrist, my past psychiatrist, who I no, no longer see because I lost trust in him. <clears throat> um, please Google the Ashton Manual, A-S-H-T-O-N Manual. This is pretty much the Holy Grail, the Holy Bible, as far as benzodiazepines and what they do to your body, what they do to your brain, what you may expect to feel as you're coming off of it. Um, there's a lot of information depending on which one you're on, whether it be Ativan, Xanax, um, Klonopin, you name it, it's on there. It's a uh, pretty in-depth chart on how you should taper, and a lot of it goes from getting off of uh, your medication the proper way and it will take weeks it will take over maybe two months three months but it is the proper way to do it um it's uh it's a lot of information on there it's uh give yourself a, a good amount of time to read it all to prepare yourself for what could happen Unless you want to dive into it, some people have this state of mind where they'd rather not know. Um, I think that some people will kind of create the symptoms in their brain because they read about it. At least that's what my psychologist had told me. Um, the brain is a pretty powerful thing. It can make you think things are happening just because you read them just, they can just because they're expecting something to happen it will happen in in some cases um depersonalization derealization that was a pretty big one for me um being disconnected from the world you know um not feeling like you're inside your own skin it's a pretty freaky feeling but you if you don't experience that through your benzo tape or your benzo diazepine withdrawal, God bless you. That's was one of the worst parts of withdrawal symptoms for me. You know, um stomach aches and stuff like that, nausea, vomiting, I could deal with all that, but not not being able to feel like you have a connection with the closest people in your life. It's a pretty scary feeling, you know, um, the whole process alone can make you feel depressed. It's not a fun time. It's one of the worst experiences I've ever gone through. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through it again <clears throat> as soon as I can get my serotonin levels in check, which I strongly advise anyone going through a benzo withdrawal or a benzo withdrawal or taper to if you experience any depression while you're coming off of this medication your medication please talk to your doctor about stabilizing 
on an antidepressant before you go any further with your benzodiazepine taper. Um, if your doctor doesn't know much about benzodiazepine tapers, bring them, him, her, the AHT manual. See what they say. See, I know it's kind of an older, I think it's from 2002, 2004. It's kind of an older model. Maybe your doctor is prone to newer techniques or newer models to get you off of your medication properly. But I know that there's a lot of people who go to detox centers, which will get you off of your medication in 7 to 10 to 14 days, which is, to my knowledge, way, way, way too quick. So look it over yourself. Look it over with your doctor. You know, um, if your doctor has no idea, like mine, how to get you off of a medication properly, find the help. Just have them keep prescribing you the medication so you can find someone. My biggest issue is finding psychiatrists. It's one of the biggest issues. I'm from New York. It's one of the biggest issues is finding one, a psychiatrist who accepts insurance. And two, a psychiatrist that is accepting new patients. And three... One that accepts your insurance and is accepting new patients. It's a, it's a pretty rough, rough go for me in uh, New York. Plenty of psychologists, just psychiatrists are few and far between. And a lot of them are older. I found out a lot of the younger psychiatrists over private, private practices have moved down south, you know, out of state. It's um, unfortunate. But that's the reality of it. If you have any more questions about benzodiazepine tapers or uh, withdrawal symptoms, there's you can Google it. I mean, I was hooked on something called Benzo Buddies for a while. I was reading a lot of stories about people's tapers and... Um, how they were going through it, you know, some people had it worse off than I did, which wasn't exactly, I can say, comforting, but it was um, shocking to know that someone was worse off than I did, or worse off than I was. You know, it's also helpful to have a uh, support group. If you don't have a support group, it is probably your number one priority and your number one benefit to join some type of outpatient program there's groups there's group therapy and people going through the same things that you are which i had no idea even existed while i was going through my benzo taper you know i didn't drive for uh three months you know it, it was crazy just stepping outside felt like you were in a dream um, that's just about the, uh, all the information I have for you guys today. I know it's just another ramble, just a lot of things on my mind that I want to get out and express to the world stuff that I've learned through this, this hellacious nightmare. Um, yeah, um, if you guys want it. To ask any questions, please post in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And again, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe if you'd like. Like the video if it helped you with any information. And uh, I'll get back to you guys soon.